morning guys it's we're in cabo still obviously and it's muy bonita so you can see like the arch over there i'm just on the balcony for my things i'm gonna get ready this is the best travel case for brushes it's amazing because you just need like a little bit. This countertop is like rock hard. As most are. And it's like extra hard. Like break your school hard. actually has 50 SPF in it, so it's extra good Mexico, and it is pretty dewy, but it's good. I didn't get like oil yesterday, because I want that coverage, because I wasn't sure if it was going to be dewy. This is so beautiful, this is ridiculous, I'm looking at the ocean. I'm literally going to do my makeup here every day. I'm still going in with concealer. This is maybe going to fit me. It's so light and natural and creamy, but it covers. I don't know why I slept on this for so long. I tried it a long time ago and didn't like it because I got too light of a shade. But I love it now. This beauty YouTuber, Jasmine Hand, um, she's like a makeup artist in Australia. She uses it on her brides because um, it looks good all day. It really does. And I definitely drag mine out like over my cheeks to like highlight. I'm still working out on vacation, so I'm on um, Mind Pump Media's their maps programs. I'm on anabolic and I'm in phase three. It's phase one, phase two, phase three. And I'm in phase three. They're like three, four weeks long each one. Um, I'm really enjoying this one because there's a lot more to do in it, but in the mornings I don't have that much time, so I usually have to like pick something to skip, and it's usually like the weighted calf raises because. My calves are pretty good, pretty strong. So normally I would take a loose powder and set that, but I don't have a loose powder. I just brought my stay matte powder for sake of room in my suitcase. And my other one is in a matte powder. And my makeup stayed pretty well all day yesterday, except for I like napped kind of by the pool for a little bit. Didn't really nap, almost fell asleep. If I would have fall asleep, I would have got fried. But just having that everywhere. I'm gonna get my neck a little bit. Just I don't like it to feel sticky. I feel like it's gonna rub off really quick. Oh, sorry. And that was the Morphe E41. Okay, let's see how I'm looking so far. I really hope this isn't dark because it's looking dark. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know how to turn it up. I don't. And I'm using the ColourPop um, Brow Boss Pencil. They have a definer. I like this one better. The definer is like way more concentrated. And it's just like harsh. We're supposed to be getting breakfast at the area it's not a resort because it's like a gated community but um it's just eating breakfast here so i bought three palettes i bought this bad habit inferno palette hot fire flames bad habit you get on the um hush app it's actually like amazingly good and like the mirror 
is so good. It's like, this is my Violet Voss Pro palette. The mirror is better on. So yeah, and then I brought this palette for just like warm tones. I can do smoky eye with it. And I bought some bold colors. I have the Urban Decay Beach palette, but I don't like it. It's kind of like garbage. Um, I bought it for Cabo last year and forgot to take it. I left like all my eyeshadows sitting at home and I was so bummed. But it's fine. So I'm just going to get them all out and see kind of what I want to do today. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Baked for transition color. They have an extreme amount of kick up though, but it's fine. It's probably no different than Anastasia, honestly. Maybe a little more. I love the red shades in this Inferno palette. They're so good. There's this, in this um, Alomar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, there's this like green I really want to use. But I don't know what to do with it. It's so pretty though. It's like a light pastel -y green and it's like electric with pigment. It's so good. And I bought all these really cool statement necklaces, um, but I kind of found I didn't bring a shirt to match them. Like one is like longer and it tears down and it's like red and blue. It's like corally pinky, almost red, so mostly like corally pinky, I guess. But a lot deeper and then blues. But I was like, what am I, I don't have anything to match that. <laughs> there are a lot of like sporty outfits, like ones I'd be comfortable in because the sun here is so intense, it like kills you. It's not just that it's hot, but like the sun is intense. It like sizzles your skin. Okay, that was um, a real technique technique brush. I got it in a limited edition thing. And this is Morphe M44 and I have two of these, but I swear this one is different than my other one. It's more dome shaped. The other one is way more frayed because I've had it, but it's also more like feathered. Okay, so I have Coco Taxi, which I'm going to go in with this orange shade. Put that in the lower crease. So I want to be able to tell the, I want to see the steps. If I did it, just in that same spot, I would have just, I might as well have just gone in with that in the first place. So I love this brush because you can be more precise with it or you can blend with it. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm going to keep, with this eye look, so I'm going to keep checking. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring my one blending brush. No, I did. This is it. It just like really compacted after I washed it. back into that baked shade and then I'm more to these two together. I got these cups last night. I didn't show you because I don't know it was late. Um, but they're wine glasses but they were 10 bucks a piece so I didn't get that many. So I only brought like 20 bucks. to that thing last night. Oh, I'm really over here. My Morphe M433, arguably one of my favorite brushes because it's just amazing. I really should do like hotspot or something, but we're in Mexico, so I'm going to Tropico, which is this like hot Cheeto orangey red. Like, look at that. Seventy degrees and beautiful right now. I have the shade Coca Taxi. And I do want at the end. We're gonna come back to the eyes. The bronzer I'm going with my Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Golden Days. It's just shimmery. I like it. I forgot my more precise bronzer brush, which I'm pretty ticked about. Because I bought my Hula, and that's pretty pigmented and dark on me. This is the Morphe R2 brush, and now I'm going in with Hula. I'm just gonna try to get like the tip of my brush. I bought the Cheerleaders, Cheek Leaders palette, the Bronze Squad one. Um, it has Hula Caramel in it, which I wanted to use, but I did not want to risk breaking that palette by traveling with it. This should put on a lot of bronzer, but my cheeks did not look bronze, so today we're gonna pack it all. I always get this cheekbone way more defined than this one. This half of my face is like totally different than that half. Like my eyes are even, but my eyebrows are even uneven, and I swear this ear sits a little lower because all my glasses are crooked. 
It's like a pain in the ass when I go to get fitted for glasses because they're like, what am I doing wrong? And I'm like, it's not you, it's me, it's my ears. And I go all over it with a fluffy brush. Make sure I don't look crazy. But I love this pink one. I can't get over it. It's this Essence Matte one. It's better than my Coralista by Benefit. It has more pigment. It lasts all day. I might just leave it like that. I'm gonna put Thanks a Latte, which is just this cream shade on my eye. I'm gonna take my Morphe M422 brush. I don't wear eyeliner on top because I can't do it. It just is a skill I'll never have. And I'm just using um, Teddy Bear. It's this really dark chocolatey, pretty much, I guess, purpley brown. I'm just gonna go with my Morphe E18 brush and some transition. Get it all over the brush, roll all over. And I'm going to just run this under. Coco Taxi. Stopped recording. I don't know where. Hmm. Anyways, this is what we have for our eyes. Right now. Dropped a palette. So. I'm gonna put some eyeliner and stuff on. Makeup Fox Blacks, and this is in the shade Burnt Sienna. With the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, this stuff's amazing. At first I hated it, I got it in a BoxyCharm, I probably told you guys this. I get off some of the product because it's like insane how much product you get on here. And this thing will last you like four months. It doesn't dry out. So I bought a bunch and they went on sale because there were only a couple more dollars than my Maybelline one I get. And that one lasts like two, three weeks and it's dry. I don't sit there and pump the mascara, you know, and inject all this air into it to dry it out. So it's not me, it's the mascara. I'm tired, I have not been on regimen of having coffee like I have, but other people are making the coffee, which is great, but I'm like an alien from outer space and I require like condensed coffee, not your average person's human heart can handle that. Do I have anxiety? But no, I, I don't drink that much. I drink condensed coffee, but it's like eight ounces and then I drink like four in the morning and four in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, I used to, years ago, before I got like into makeup, I was like makeup, I would do my mascara first before I would do my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow was not extensive. It consisted of like two shades. It was like a crease shade. It was like this little Maybelline palette it was like the almond one where it's like a taupey brown. I loved it though, it was perfect. It just looked like the shadows of your eyes, it was so cute. It's like in burlesque when Cher does um, Christina Aguilera's makeup. It's kind of like those vibes, but not that good. Cause, uh. And I would use the um, L'Oreal uh, True Match. No, not True Match. Yeah, True Match, it, like the one that has like a thousand shades. Um, and I would just put it on my fingers all over my face and it stresses me out now. I know there's a lot of makeup artists that do that, but I can't handle that, like, no. I got this Morphe Spark Highlighter just because it's golden. Um, I wanted to bring this Over Cosmetics palette I have. That would've been amazing, but I didn't want it to break because it was kind of expensive. I got it on sale. Also, if you're wanting something but it's not on sale, go to their website, like the actual brand's website, and subscribe. There's always 30% off. Sometimes there's even 50% off. Because Ulta does not have those deals. I'm gonna put a little bit of spark in my inner corner. This, I thought this looked way too deep for my skin tone. In a store, but I just ordered it offline to get free shipping <laughs> from Morphe. I'm gonna go back over with some bronzer. I need a setting spray, but I didn't bring one because I'm traveling and it's gotta be like three ounces or less unless you check it on, but I didn't check on the bag. My umbrella is itching my chest. <laughs> I bought some different lipsticks. I don't know. This one's okay. I wish I would have brought this London shade. Oh my god, by NYX. So this is ColourPop's What's Your Sign lipstick. I hated these in the winter. I hated them with a the passion. I thought they were so stupid. They would sit on top of my skin, even when I got like my dry skin off. When I got my dry skin off, they would just like sit on top. But now that it's summer, it's a lot better. So I really like these. But anyways, yeah, that's the completed look. My camera temperature is too high, so it is dying. Does anyone else's Sony A5100 do that? Um, yeah, my hair is yellow because it was brown and we weren't blonde and it's taken stages, but whatever. Um, so, hope you guys liked it and see you later.